now that we have our bar set up, let's worry about uh, some buffs and debuffs. And to do that we have to customize this little mini-map up here, because that's where I like to put my buffs and debuffs, right next to the mini-map. So right click inside the mini-map, inside sexy map. First thing you want to do is click use global profile. Make sure that that's checked. Okay, second thing you want to do is go to borders, start over. Drop down box, make it a square. Enable. Now let's choose the border texture. Let's go with tooltip enlarged. Make it around 17. Go back here, scale it up. Scale it up. And I don't really like that one. the color. Alright, black's fine. Alright, next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and uh, Click on zone text. Click on hover. Change the font to white. We also want to change it to whichever font you like. I'm going to use this one just for this video. Right, then we want to go to buttons. I have to click everything on hover. Except zoom buttons. Don't need the map. I never want to see add-on buttons, ever. New mail indicator on hover. And I really like to not see the clock. <laughs> oh, here it is. Clock is under a super tab. Let's have it on hover. Let's just adjust it first. Vertical position, I like it right there. On hover. Square your way. Even change it. Change the text. There we go. Looks good. Okay, on hover. Okay, your map should look like mine now. Alright, let's worry about buffs and debuffs. To open up your buffs and debuff options, you're going to be using uh, Strina Buff Frame. So, SBF option. Brings up this box. Alright, now, current frame is what you want to look at. If it says buffs, then we're going to be dealing with buffs. If you drop down and click debuffs, we're going to be messing with our debuffs. Let's mess with the buffs first. Go to layout. Uh, actually go to icons. Let's make the icons bigger. 45 is a little big. Let's make it 40. Go back to layout. Use the spacing arrows to space them out. That's pretty good. I want to go ahead and adjust them right now. Buffs per column. I want to make them look like this. Just drag this over. Then anchor point. Make it on the right. to reload UI. We'll put that there for now. Actually, I want two rows. There we go. 
So buff per column to buff growth down anchor point red. Now let's go to timers. I hate the default yellow, change that to white. Let's space our icons out a little bit more. But just going back to layout, spacing them. There you go, back to timers to adjust it. There. Now if you look at Mark of the Wild, it has 18 seconds left to score. Alright, that takes care of our buffs. Now current frame, drop down, debuffs. We're going to do the same thing. Layout. I like them in two rows. Anchor point left, that's fine. Make them wave a lot bigger, like 55. I like big debuffs. They're a lot easier to see. Go back to layout. Space it out. You really won't have this many debuffs, but um, yeah, this is just for demonstration. Really. Make sure they're spaced out pretty good. You won't have too many debuffs in raids anyway. And if you do have a debuff, you really want them to be this big so you can make sure you see them. Alright, let's go on our timers, make them white. Down, get down, 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 down. Let's get the font size up. That looks good to me. Whoop. That's probably pretty good. Alright, now we have our buffs and our debuffs. And we're squared away. So that takes care of our minimap, buffs over here, debuffs. Last thing I want to show you in this video, you see these wargs? See how they have nameplates? Type slash tidy plate. Opens up this, all you need to do is hit the drop down box under primary theme, quatre damage, quatre damage. You can do any of the other styles you want, just make sure it's damage. I like this because it's really clean. Yeah, this is one I use on Fizzle Gear. I really like this style, the Quatrain. Make sure it's damaged and you'll be good to go.